What is up everybody? It is your boy Fry and today we're going to be giving away some uh, awesome free presets. So yeah, just basically saying that I'm not good at doing this type of stuff. So, you know what I'm saying? I just want to say shout out to everybody for subscribing, liking and all that type of stuff. Um, you know, over the last year, I think I've had this channel for about a year. And yeah, man, you know, everybody that's been out there helping support, um, you know, hopefully you've taken something from this channel and, you know, whether it's just the free presets, whether you might have learned a little technique here or there, you know, um, yeah, I don't, I don't really know what to say. So, you know, say smash the like button, uh, you know, greatly appreciated and I will keep putting out good content, uh, you know, feel free to follow on Instagram if you've got any questions or, you know, just to make it easier so I know, you know, who's um, coming from the channel. You know what I'm saying? I'm always answering questions on different uh, social media platforms and all of that. And yeah, so pretty much I'm giving away some of these, uh, you know, good starting points that I've used over the years. And yeah, I'll pretty much just show you the thing about presets is really in order to use a preset, you really have to have a vocal because these are all vocal presets besides the reverb you could, uh, I guess, use on like an instrument or something. But um. You know, for example, a vocal, you need the vocal to not be completely destroyed. Otherwise, the preset won't work. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, that's just kind of a heads up. Um, before I do go to the presets, I will just show because I know this will pop up. Um, let me just find. Sorry about that. Um, yeah, so this is exactly the destination folder of where you're going to be putting in your presets. Uh, you can pretty much just search, for example, for, you know, uh, parametric. You know what I'm saying? And then you could, um, okay, there's all the presets at the bottom of the folders, but yeah, you know what I mean? So you, you're just going to want to put your folders in here. So as you can see in the folder that you will download, um, you'll find all the presets labeled per, per VST. Um, and then you just want to throw in this file, which contains all of the presets. You just want to put it into that um, plugin folder. And then it should pop up like this. Let me just get back into FL. It should pop up straight up like this. So as you can see, this is Vocal EQ Effects 2 because um, I have given away the the first edition. I think that was the, uh, so my voice is a bit loud in my cans. Um, in the previous video, which was like a, probably half a year ago or something like that. But anyway, let's get straight into it. So, um, you know, my favorite kind of place to start is kind of just getting rid of the nasalness of a vocal. So, you know, I do have a bit of nasalness to my voice. So. You know, for example, if you wanted to get rid of that nasalness, you could kind of just drift around this area and, you know, get rid of that. I've already treated my voice in this instant just to make it as um, transparent as possible. But yeah, add a bit of air, which is usually a problem with if you are recording really far away, you know, you might not have enough air. But yeah, let's go through some of these presets. So we got add air, less nasal. We got some add, add dankness, you know what I'm saying? If you don't have any of that lower um, mid in your voice, you can use that, get rid of a bit of uh, 7,600 to 7,700. Those are generally pretty brittle points that you can use, maybe even here, maybe even there. But yeah, pretty much nice starting points. Uh, we got the classic vocal start, which really is just a nice little starting point for, you know, the first, <coughs> excuse me, EQ in your chain, you could pretty much do something like this. Maybe not the high boost, but uh, I do feel like something just slight at 20k does give it that, that kind of broadcast the quality, a nice little kind of shallow roll off. We don't want to go too hard on the roll off because that does sound quite unnatural. And yeah, what else have we got here? We got crazy background vocal, which I've used on, um, you know, the song I'd produced a while ago. I'd, I'd used this EQ preset on the background vocals and then I've used it on quite a lot of songs and it generally works. You know, you can always adjust, um, you know, it's kind of a telephone effect, but you can, you know, you can kind of just alter it to get you that. As you can hear, it really thins out the voice nicely and perfect for being in the background. You know what I'm saying? What else do we got here? We got the, um, this is almost like the replica of the Pro Tools EQ, which you can go and download as well. Here we go. I mean, look how many presets are in there. Crazy, crazy, crazy. This is just one of the Pro Tools kind of male starting points, but I've kind of altered it a little bit. And yeah, it does work quite well. As you can hear, it does have that uh, lower mid in there. Getting rid of obviously 7.7, .7, you know, Pro Tools know what's up. And yeah, we're going to be doing some Pro Tools um, tutorials soon as well. I found my old license key and all of that. And yeah, thinking of doing that. So yeah, uh, what else do we have? We got Vintage Vox, right? Which is kind of just sounding like a, 
old school mic in a way. I mean, obviously not. These are just emulation type things, but just rolling off a bit of the high end, which you can, you know, a lot of old school stuff had not too much high end in it. Nice little bass boost, you know, like a tape style. And yeah, I don't know, it might work. It might work, you know, just dip away a lot of the nasalness, bring back some of the bass, slight boost if I, yeah, just a little 1 dB boost, you know, you can play around with that kind of stuff. And yeah, reduce the S, this is very important, you know, reduce nasal, right nasals around there. And, uh, you know, reduce high end. So yeah, that's pretty much a nice starting point. Obviously, as I said, these are starting points, you can move them around and, uh, you know, learn that every voice is unique and all of that. So now we got the Rode NC1 emulation. This is kind of like a slight frequency curve of what the Rode NC1 might sound like. And yeah, if you, if you don't like the characteristic of your microphone, you can use this on the start of your chain just to kind of see if you like it or not. You can obviously um, reduce it quite a bit so you can bring back some of that, you know, drop that, you know, do some of that. And then there you go. You got like a different characteristic on your microphone, you know, just a fun little experiment. And yeah, we got this little tape style. This is like a Studer, Struder uh, tape kind of curve. So you can put this just before you limit at the end and yeah it should kind of give you a little bit more of a you might want to turn off the the high quality oversampling just to give it that real kind of tape sound you know but yeah that's pretty much it i think in the yeah in the fruity parametric i'm only going to kind of go through the most important ones which is the compress and the eq because those are kind of the most uh, important things in audio so as you can see in this folder you will find one two three four five six seven yeah, these are really just um, kind of common starting points for compression. I'm not going to uh, try them out because obviously I've already compressed my voice. But yeah, generally, you know, just uh, this is a pretty aggressive compressor in the sense that the threshold is quite low. So it's going to start compressing pretty low at a 3 to 1 ratio um, with the hard knee. So that means the compressor immediately kicks in. Fairly fast attack. We are trimming away quite a lot of the initial transient, which is like the... You know, there's always that first sound, which is the transient. You don't want to get rid of too much. You can always adjust that a little bit. Pretty fast release, so you might get a bit of like distortion artifact. But yeah, after that, we got the, <clears throat> excuse me, kind of classic compressor setting, right? Which is just a two to one with a threshold of, you know, minus 15, you know, kind of fast, slow attack. Uh, I don't know what people consider fast, but... um. Whoops, there you go. Well, anyway, you know, really long release, which is kind of what you want in a compressor for slower rap music. You know, it gives it that nice vintage sound. So that's why we say it's classic. And yeah, this is the second version of that much slower attack. Just to kind of give it that, you know, as you can hear right there, it's got that classic sound with the vintage um, knee type. So it's kind of like an LA2A. And then we actually have the LA2A type compressor which you might have seen in um, some of the how to sound like videos and all of that type of stuff. And yeah, it's got a variable knee type, I think. It adjusts towards the, the sound coming in. Sorry about that, I drank some coffee earlier. Now it's like, I'm speaking, you know what I mean? And it's, <laughs> it's hitting. Cool, and then we got the Yuri, which, you know, I've kind of just taken the, you know, as well with the last preset, just kind of taken the characteristics in a way of um, some of, you know, these famous compressors. If you don't have any cash to buy like a Waves plugin, you can kind of, you know, use the FL Studio stuff and, and kind of get similar results. Obviously not the, the analog artifact, but <clears throat> the kind of characteristic that that compressor might have. And yeah, we got the vintage limiter, right? So as you can see, if I kick that in, you know, the audio will never reach over minus five because we're doing um, kind of limiting, which is like 10 to one and up is really like limiting. Um, you know, Mixer Man, somebody who I follow, kind of said the difference between a compressor and a limiter, the easiest way to describe that is basically that the compressor is working from, I don't really know, but a limiter, this is like how we explain it, is a limiter works downwards, you know what I'm saying? So when the audio tries to hit the limit, it's not going above there. So you can add this at the end of your plugin chain just to make sure that you know, your voice doesn't go over zero, for example, but I have to set it to minus five just so you've got some headroom. And yeah, I don't know if I'm going to go through all of these presets, but you know, you get the idea of vocal limit. Cool, we've gone through all of that. And in this file as well, you will find um, 
some miscellaneous stuff and the reverbs as well which i'll go through quickly but um oh i didn't add the the reverb anyway i'll leave oh no here it is cool so in the reverb we've got just a little you know really basic like kind of stuff but more verb adds that nice little characteristic to it what else do we have we got the harry potter reverb you know which um i did give to marson who's somebody who likes these presets but um i really like the sound of this it has like a nice little chamber sound to it you know kind of somehow reminds me of hogwarts or whatever <laughs> And yeah, we got the Party Next Door Reverb, which comes from the um, Party Next you know, PMB Rock recording template. And yeah, I really like this on rap vocals. You can use this on rap vocals, sounding sweet. I like it. And yeah, we got the Spring Reverb, which isn't really a Spring Reverb, like a traditional Spring Reverb, but it just has that everlasting sound to it, which might be a bit long, so you might want to turn that down. But yeah. Subtle rap reverb, this is perfect for your rap vocals, right? Um, you know, your Migos type stuff, trap type stuff. You don't want to be doing too much reverb on like, like, you know, you never hear too much reverb on a Gucci Man record, but you do hear that kind of um, background sound to it. You know what I'm saying? That Even that's too much, like right around here is perfect, right? And then you blend that in with the beat and it sounds really sweet. So yeah, what else do we have? Okay, that's all. Um, one thing I will show you is what I wanted to show you was the miscellaneous folder, which you can pretty much just uh, drag and drop. So, for example, we'll just throw in this uh, Cole Adler BQ, just drag and drop, let it load. Did it froze? No, it didn't. Haha. <laughs> okay, but there you go. You know what I'm saying? So you can just drag and drop one of those things. I'll leave that to you to go and explore. And yeah, once again, um. Thank you very much everyone that subscribes you know obviously i understand how youtube's algorithm works um you know they are do i still have the reverb one now there are obviously only a percentage of like a number of people that are subscribed to a channel that actually watch you know for example if you watch pewdiepie's channel you'll notice that he doesn't get 57 million views on every video he gets like 3 million views right so yeah shout out to all of those who are um who do stay tuned you know with the notifications and all of that I appreciate you very much and yeah, feel free to comment down below any types of videos you'd like to see if it's like um, basics on recording, basics on um, whatever, you know what I'm saying? I'm still learning, I'm in the game, so I'm always down to share what I know and yeah, stay blessed. Thank you for tuning in once again um, and let's see where this channel goes from here. Yeah, peace out.